Although KCL is quite safe when administered orally, it is lethal at 75 to 150 mg per kg intravenously. Injection of a lethal dose of KCL produces death by cardiac arrest. KCL eliminates the potassium concentration gradient in cardiac muscle, and the depolarized muscle cannot repolarize. Now, is potassium chloride given as a lethal injection? Yes, lethal injection of potassium chloride can be used as a method of either suicide or homicide. As biological tests are still inadequate to differentiate endogenous from exogenous potassium, at the scene of death the cause can only be suspected. What happens if you inject potassium into the bloodstream? The risks associated with intravenous potassium chloride are well known. If it is injected too rapidly or in too high a dose, it may cause cardiac arrest within minutes. The effect of hyperkalemia on the heart is complex, virtually any arrhythmia may be observed. So, at what level is potassium lethal? Normally, levels higher than 7 milli equivalent can lead to significant hemodynamic and neurologic consequences. Levels exceeding 8.5 milli equivalent can cause respiratory paralysis or cardiac arrest and can quickly be fatal. How long does it take for potassium chloride to stop the heart in the lethal injection? I can't say exactly, but considering they usually use a 50 milliliter syringe to dilute at AMA possible to prevent possible reactions to burning a feeling, adding in the suspension ratio of active agent to liquid carrier, by the time 15 or south mil have been injected. This adds up to around 12 seconds after the beginning of the injection. Don't think that the person being legally murdered is getting off easy, though. It's a major shock to the body and could cause a conscious distress that could last for up to 45 seconds after the heart stops. There is just no way to know for sure. When the pentobarbital reaches the brain and affects the heart, the animal will often give a mighty lurch and can even twitch and vocalize for up to 10 seconds after. Sometimes, it is completely without incident. Again, there is no way to be sure, all we can do is take educated guesses. Hyperkalemia symptoms include abdominal pain and diarrhea along with nausea and vomiting, chest pain, heart palpitations or arrhythmia and muscle weakness or numbness in limbs, 